So there are 13 brooms, secret brooms hidden within Hogwarts Legacy and today guys I'll guide you into how you get your hands on each and every one of these. Now guys if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy make sure you subscribe. Okay, so there are 13 brooms you can get in this game as of right now. Some come from challenges, others come from vendors. So we will start with the vendor brooms. So there's the Hogsmeade uh, Spin Witch's Sporting Needs vendor who sells 5 brooms. And there's also vendors hidden across the map who sell some too. So we will start with the Spin Witch's Sporting vendor within Hogsmeade. He sells these all costing 600 each. We have the Amber Dash. The Hogwarts House Broom. The Moon Trimmer. The Wind Wisp. And the U Weaver. Again, these will cost you 600 gold each and only come from the Svenda, the spin which is sporting these Svenda within Hogsmeade. Okay, so next up we have vendors outside of Hogsmeade scattered across the map. First up we have the Silver Arrow Broom. This one will cost you 5,000 gold and is only available after you complete the Cartaway site quest. To do this, come to this point on the map right here and you will meet a small fella called Arn. He needs your assistance in getting his cart back. Complete his simple quest guys and he will end up being a vendor for you located right here on the map. He will then have the silver arrow broom for sale for you. Again, 5,000 gold. Next up guys, we have the aerial mancer broom. This one is available from this vendor located right here on the map. And this one will cost you 3,000 gold. Please have a look. An excellent purchase. Next up we have the family antique broom. This one can be found from this vendor located right here on the map and this one will cost you 2,500 gold. Next up we have the Sky Scythe Broom. This one can be found from this vendor right here on the map and this one will cost you 5,000 gold. Okay, so the last four brooms, these are tied to balloons hidden around the map. You have to find these balloons and pop them. Now all balloon locations will be shown to you guys in a quick second, but for the night dancer broom you need to pop two sets of balloons. The Lickety Swift, this one requires you to pop five sets of balloons. The Wild Fire Broom. You get this for popping 10 sets of balloons. And the Bright Spark Broom. This one requires you to pop 15 sets of balloons. Okay, so these balloons are scattered all around the map. There are 32 sets of balloons in total. Each set consists of 5 balloons you'll have to pop. And you'll need to pop every single balloon located across the map in order to get all of these brooms, especially the last one, the Bright Spark. So on screen now guys are the locations of these balloons. Timestamps will be down below for specific areas you may need. 
But there we have it guys. Every room and all locations for those balloons. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see, if you want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.